Hey guys, I'm Layla. Welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today's lore story is going to be for Clayna. She looks really interesting. She looks like a pine cone, right? So that's kind of what I'm expecting with this story. So I hope you enjoy. Clayton's tale begins with a lone pine cone that fell from its branch into the nest of a thrush. Rather than push it from its nest, a small bird kept it among its eggs and sheltered it day and night. When the eggs hatched, so too did the pine cone. Its wooden scales opened to reveal a fae with bristled wings and skin to match the vessel of her birth. The rhythm sang her name to her, Claydna. Though Claydna could fly from birth, she did not leave the nest and the bird that had nursed her and remained with them well after she outgrew the other hatchlings. When she could no longer fit in the nest, she took to sitting on the tree's branches, and as she became more confident, she explored the surrounding pines and the forest floor. Seasons later, Claydna reached her full size, and with a few gentle notes and caresses, wove herself a home at the foot of the tree, so she could still hear and learn the songs of the birds she called family. Later, following the rhythm's guiding tune, Claydna met another fae and shared with them the beautiful songs the birds sang. Stories of the new fae that lived a quaint life with the birds spread more and more. Sylvan journeyed to her part of the mistwood to hear her songs and feel her touch, including an elf who had once been a warrior but whose wounds had forced him to retire his sword. When he listened to Claydna's song, the pain of his old wounds faded and the scars vanished from his skin. Now two moons later, another elf, this one suffering from prolonged sickness, arrived at Claydna's home and asked for a song and was healed. One came with a dying flower which, but with a touch, Claydna restored to full bloom. Soon a sylvan came every day to ask Claydna to cure their ills and mend their injuries. One of these fae was so beautiful of heart and body, with curled ivory horns that reflected the sunlight in dazzling ways, that Claydna fell hopelessly in love with them, and decided to finally fly the nest and follow them to the great sylvan city of Naressa. Claydna settled with her partner, and her healing chants granted her the title Lady of Birdsong among the fae folk, but she could not get accustomed to life in the city. Though built from nature, the city housed thousands of minds, all linked to the same rhythm, and its song Claydna had once found soothing enchants and now banged deafeningly in her head. In the city, the number of sylvan needing her powers seemed endless, and with every ailment she cured, the more her voice rubbed raw in her throat, and the more empty she felt. Every song took a sip of her power, slowly draining her over time. She longed for her old home and the comfort of her birds to hear them sing to her, but her partner cherished the comforts of civilization too much to leave the city. When Clayda could stand Nerissa's noise no longer, she left in the night, her lover still asleep. The moment she left the city's boundary, her mind calmed, as if she finally rested after an arduous sprint, despite the ache she felt in her heart for leaving her beloved behind. It had been like cutting off a limb to save herself from a trap, a sacrifice necessary for her greater well-being. She returned to her house under the tree and discovered a new brood of birds roosting in the nest and learned the sad news of her family's departure from this world. Despite the avian's different bloodlines, these birds sang the same song of Cladna's family and welcomed her like an old friend. Bereft yet hopeful for the forge of new relationships, it seemed her life would return to normal. But Clayla was not aware that timber thieves from the outside world had moved into her pine groves during her absence, nor did she know that her beloved was coming to beg her to return to Nerissa. The two parties found each other first, and Clayla stumbled upon the remains of her dearest fae and followed a trail of blood to the humans who had killed them and taken their horns as a trophy. Clayla tore the humans apart with tooth and claw. The Sylvans say, the Lady of Birdsong is a lonely spirit who surrounds herself with feathered friends to replace the flock the long-lived fae had outlived, and that she never speaks to the Sylvan, for she fears she may once again become too attached to someone she dare not lose, or lose her voice to endless demands. Humans, however, speak in a hushed tones of a soft-voiced creature of pine that slaughters any who wander too deep into the mistwood. Oh, this one was kind of sad. But you know what's interesting? Talking about this here, who her beloved is, it really kind of makes me think that it's this one here, maybe. Like Alia, Alia Lifebraid, right? She doesn't have a story, but almost makes me think it's her. I'm not really sure, guys. Drop me some comments down below what you think for the lore story for Claydna. And thank you so much for watching.